Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, we're doing a uh, viewer game today. Playing up against a whirlwind. We just played a game not too long ago, and he put me... <laughs> I had to adjust my layout there. He put me through an absolute whirlwind, ironically. I basically ended up just blundering my queen and I got back rank mated. It's kind of embarrassing, but uh, we're having a rematch here. I'm going to see if we can do a little bit better this game. <laughs> I think he played the London system in our first game, and I wasn't able to punish it. So I'm going to see if we can do a little bit better in this one. It was pretty even up until I blundered, um, and if I wouldn't have blundered, we would have just had like a perfectly even match after that. Um, I looked at the engine analysis and it was just a dead even position if uh, I wouldn't have hung my queen. <laughs> uh, yeah. See if he moves his knight out. We got some really good advice from Chad about how to handle this um, this bishop trade here. And essentially it's just let the opponent take so they can waste a move, let you develop, and then you're just slightly more ahead. I actually really like that advice. I kind of want to play h6 here in case I end up in one of these situations. The open h file is an interesting idea. Um, I personally feel like g3 makes it a little harder for white because they can't castle kingside. So if I were to take his bishop on g3, we're almost like guaranteed a queenside castle, I feel. Don't know if I quite want to go for that. I'm just going to leave that here for now. He might play something like knight e5 maybe to block this in. I don't know. Give him the old good luck, have fun. Just castle, play it safe here. I think I should go up to C4 at some point. I want to try something here. I want to try offering the queen trade and getting an open A file.
don't really... I mean, if I take his queen out, he just recaptures with the knight. And then gets his knight into a little better position, so... I think I'll just activate my knight to... Ends up going for it. I almost wonder what's better here. The open H file or just taking with the knight here? I think the did I say H file? I meant to say A file. The open A file is a really interesting idea here. Since he's gonna be castling, I'm guessing most likely Queen Side, if he decides to castle at all. That would let me kind of get my pawns a little further up the board, too. The knight's in a terrible spot, though. I think I'm just going to take with the knight because the knight's just in a really bad spot on d7 there. And I don't think the open A file and the stacked pawns are sort of worth having that. A knight on a bad loose square there on d7. That's my logic at least. I'm sticking with it. He offers the bishop tray. I think this is good here. It forces his king out. I really don't have any other options here, so I kind of have to go for that. Gets his king in a very interesting spot. I need to improve this knight's position. I really want to push c5 so I can at least get my knight out here. Even before that, I'm just going to just activate the rook here. I'm most likely going to be opening up the c file. So I'm uh, fully expecting a pawn storm here. Yeah, probably c5 next. The good thing about this game is that the queens are off the board, so I can't actually blunder a queen, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Just push up c5 here. Two knights versus two rooks. V interessante. Probably time to get the rook out to e8 and just get it on the same file as his uh, king there. Maybe I want to take e4. Looks okay.
Oh, uh, one, two, three. Did I screw this up? I forgot his knight was defending c5. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's actually kind of good for me. I should be winning this pawn here. I can plant my knight. I can plant my knight on c4 now. I don't know. If he retakes with the pawn, I can't. Just kidding. But I can still take this pawn with the rook here. Bit of a backwards pawn situation here. Can maybe try to pin this knight. Take that way. I was actually thinking that he would... um. Retake with the pawn and it attacks a7 with the rook. I do have a free pawn here. How much do I really care about it? Good question. This is another free pawn as well. I'm not sure what's better here. Getting the rook out for like a very active square. Actually, I think getting the rook out here is a bit better. It attacks this uh, g3 square as well. I'd say this game is a bit more interesting than our first one that we had. <laughs> Just being honest there. I think if he tries to offer the rook trade, I'm just going to go for the pawn here. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that move. Um, He attacks the pawn here. Do I really care about it? Hmm. I don't know. I mean... I can win this pawn here. I don't know what's like going to do more damage. Uh, I don't really want to... Let's see. I guess I could go protect b7. How much do I care about this pawn? I don't know. Just go take some free stuff. I don't think he has any huge threats after he takes b7. So that's why I'm not like too worried about it. If he takes b7, I'll probably end up just taking e4 here. Maybe I should have protected b7, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Do have a really good spot on c4 for my knight here next. I have g4 next here with the rook. Uh, it attacks the pawn on f4. If he protects this pawn with uh, pawn g3, I can just take that pawn. Um, I think I want to do something like this. Creates a little outpost here. Maybe I'm losing this pawn, yeah, but I feel like blocking his rook in from getting out here to the 7th rank is a bit better. I 
I'll probably play b6 next if he doesn't take that pawn. I'm sure he will, but... I'm uh, really tempted to play uh, knight g6. If he retakes, I can take with the f-pawn, opens up the f-file for the rook. And then otherwise, it's an attack on this loose pawn here. I actually think that was a pretty good move. I don't really want my rook to get trapped here. I feel like it might. I'm kind of tempted to just swing it back over here to like a3. Debating between g4 and a3 with the rook. I just feel like a3 seems safer, and then his knight is still under attack, so this will be a bit of a double attack, because his knight's going to be forced to move back, and then I can get the pawn. So I think I'll just do that. I get the pawn, and it comes with check, so these two pieces are still under attack. I have a really sick fork this way. <laughs> Let me draw that again. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of a lot of knight moves, but most likely he would probably trade off here, I'm guessing, to open up uh, the H file. So... I probably want to go knight c6 and go this way. So tax the rook. I think if I attack his knight, his knight gets trapped. Unless he wants to sack it over here on f6. Which he might. He might go for the Sakaruskis. It's kind of actually expecting that. I almost don't want to take. But I am in check, so... Hmm. Mm-hmm.
This pawn is doing him a really big disservice here from uh, having an open G file. Bad for him, good for me. I think maybe if he... No, there, there won't be any forks here. Close, but not... Have to move the knight. Have the free pawn here. Could probably push up the e pawn here. Boom, boom. No, I'd be trading knights for pawns. Never mind. Just kidding. How do we get over here to D3? <laughs> mm. I actually don't want to take this. Why? Because it's going to open up the G file. I don't want the open G file. Think about this. I'm looking for this check here so we can trade the knights off on f3. If I had a check with this knight, I could try to find some discovered check, plant the rook on c8, and then just scope the rooks. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm guessing he'll probably play pawn g6, but I'm going to just counter it with knight f3, get the check, and then just get this knight off the board. Mm, that actually hangs a pawn. It's actually a bit better for me, right? I thought we were going to just trade knights there. 
He's maybe trying to get this piece here. Well, I'll just go for the free stuff. I wanted to protect E3 there. There's probably some mate here that I'm not seeing. I have a lot of pieces on his side of the board. There's everything I'm attacking. <laughs> uh, I believe that just wins a knight. Uh, almost. Mm, I probably shouldn't have blitzed that out. If I can get a fork somewhere, that would be nice. Hmm. I'm gonna try to force the knight trade here. Maybe it was a bad idea. Uh, I think I should have went with the other knight there. Well, if he doesn't take here, this comes with check, and it's a free knight. I think he might slide his rook over here to c7. We'll see. There's a fork here, if I can, again, if I can find it. I'm having a hard time uh, trying to find a fork somewhere. I think it's time to start pushing pawns. I think. Uh, you want to offer the trade? I'll go for the trade. Hmm. Saw that coming. It would have been better just to start pushing this pawn up the board and ditching this one. Yeah, maybe planting the knight here was better and then I could just run these pawns up the board. Hmm.
Almost. <laughs> Almost had the fork there. Um. Meet my pawn storm. I lose a pawn if I go d4. I don't want to lose that d4 pawn. I'm just going to go check this way and maybe try to run it back. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to... How do I not lose this knight? I think I have to like lose the knight here or something. I don't really want to give it up, but I think I have to lose it. Um. Hmm. over here he attacks that i can maybe just jump it over here i'm trying not to uh hang the deep on here that's what i'm trying to do I think it's like the one chance i may have to save the knight here Well, if he takes the pawn, I promote, so. There we go. That's all I really needed there. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm just going to try to run the king up the board and, uh, Look for mate over here. Now we're just doing our uh, queen king checkmate pattern. And there is mate. 
Right, GG, man. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, GG Whirlwind. Like I said, to be fair, he totally smoked me in the first game. <laughs> I think he smoked me in... Um, here, let me just look at the game real fast. So we're, we're basically just 1-1 one, one here. Let's look at the end position here in our first game. Uh, he basically got me in about eh, under 30 moves. So we're even. We're 1-1. One, one. <laughs> But yeah, GG Whirlwind. Let me see kind of where it fell apart for him. I'm kind of curious what the move was. Taking the pawn there. I think once the rook came out to c3, it was pretty tough to come back from that. And I don't know why this is so bad. I thought having this knight here was really strong because it prevented his rook from uh, coming down to like c7 for the longest time. But oh, I'm glad a3 was the move here. I was actually unsure about that for a while. I figured his knight gets trapped here. And oh, there was one other move that I wanted to look at. Now, engine wants to go for the rook trade here. Like I said, I didn't want to give him the open H file because I figure he had the chance to like stack his rooks over here on the H file. So I didn't really want to go for that. This is a miss, huh? Yeah, I guess there was some mate here with how many squares these knights were occupying. Um, but let me see here. Okay, that just loses a knight. <laughs> Stockfish. <laughs> Mate in four. Uh, yeah, that mating pattern's a little bit over my head. Bear with me. What does it say about taking here? It's a miss. Yeah. See, what I was expecting was boom, boom, and then I was just going to start uh, getting harassed by the rooks here. Oh, right, that hangs a knight. But I... um. I figured I was going to get harassed by the rooks with this open G file, and his pawns were protecting these uh, very important uh, G7 and E7 squares. So I didn't want to allow access for him on the G file. That's why I didn't take there. I personally thought this pawn push was pretty good, but, you know, what can you do? Hmm. Mate in three. King f1. 93. Okay. King g1. Oh. And that's just mate? Or no? Knight f3. Yeah, what's his next move? Takes. Where's mate in one? Ah. Interesting. Yeah, I figured there was uh, some mate pattern there, but um, I'm not very good at like night mate patterns. So what can you do? But yeah, GG, uh, whirlwind. Appreciate the game. Thanks. Have a rematch sometime. Settle the settle the score. <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for watching, and see you in the next one.